Hello, hello, my brother or sister cnc -er. I am Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I am just going to give you a couple simple tips for the Vectric software here, something I discovered by accident, uh, actually needed some help from Vectric with, a very simple thing. So you notice right now in my design screen, whether I switch between 2D and 3D, my sidebar menus are not showing up like they normally do. I don't have my my drawing sidebar here. I don't have my toolpath generating sidebar here. And how did that happen, right? I mean, I can pull them out by going up to the little pull-out tab right in the upper right corner where it says toolpaths, or I can go up to the drawing toolpath up here and hover over that and bring out that menu. But when I come back into my design, they're gone. So, let's see. So, I'm going to show you what to do. Uh, just a couple of little tips here. Uh, as we look at my remember health, wealth, love, and home with a little picture of a cactus. Maybe I'll tell you about that real quick before I move on. Because, you know, this is about life. This is These are my four words that I always refer to in my life and really focus on because they are the essence of what life is health is our physical mental and emotional health uh, and how well we're balanced in the world how you know are we internalized or externalized meaning are we conscious of the people around us are we self-aware and, and conscious of what's going on in our own minds and that's that's the health part of it wealth is money it's spiritual joy it's friendships family anything that gives us a sense of inner wealth and happiness and joy that's wealth um, and, and abundance right so physical things material things along with spiritual things love is basically self-love as much as we love ourselves is as much as we can love others so we find ourselves getting angry at others it really has to do with ourselves. <laughs> That's a big, deep discussion, but we won't go into that. And, of course, home is our sense of belonging. So that's what this is about. And the image of the cactus is, is just a symbol that really meant something to me. Something happened in life a few years ago that, that made the cactus very relevant to this. Okay, let's get into these tips with the Vectric software. So the first is, how do I get these menus to come out? Or what happens if you get into this situation, you don't know why you can't get your menus to come out and stay out. So we're going to click over the drawing menu. And the first thing you want to do is look right up here. Is There's a little thumbtack that's pointed sideways. And what that means is pinning the menu. So thumbtacks... Uh, generally gets stuck in the wall. So we would think that that would be pinned in place if it was pinning, pointing sideways. But what you do is you click that. You see how my menu just changed. The whole layout just like shifted. And the thumbtack is now pointing downward. So the whole idea or concept behind that is we are pinning it down and it's going to stay in place. And that's what has happened here. So that's what that little pin does there. It's one of those goofy little things. We don't know why it's there, but now you know. Now there's another thing I want to show you. Well, first of all, let's let's switch over to our toolpath commands by clicking this little blue arrow here. And now we have turned that on. And you notice that pin is pointing downwards, which means the toolpath menu is pinned down. I gotta close that. Now I'm gonna click it turn the thumbtack sideways and the menu now goes away and goes into the side and we've lost everything again so if, if it keeps popping away on you and you want to stop it just turn that little thumbtack downward and that menu will stay and then of course you can click to the other uh, other side go to your drawing by clicking that little blue arrow and it brings the other side and that is pinned in place and I think they naturally pin both when you click one I'm not sure but here's another little thing that that accidentally happened to me and I didn't know how to fix it and it was, it was kind of silly but it but uh, I knew there was a quick fix I actually had to email Vectric and I was right it was a very quick and easy fix so you may be working over here in this 
menu or over on the right side in the toolpath menu. And we're going to go back. And you might accidentally come up with something like that and wonder, how did I just do that? Well, there's a reason for that. And we are going to put it back in place. I'm going to show you how to work all this. Up in this drawing, where it says drawing, it's like a little light blue bar here. And if you hold your mouse button on that bar and even just slightly move your mouse, it has turned into a menu now that is free floating. I have to interject real quick because for whatever reason, the recorder is not showing what I am seeing. I'm not sure why, but I am moving my mouse around and there's a gray box floating around as I'm moving my mouse. So when you do this, you'll see this gray box show up that I'm talking about, and you'll see the menu starting to move. So it's just something that the software is showing me, but the recorder is not picking up. So that is in play while we're doing this recording. Okay, let me go back to what we're doing. And so we're going to put that back. And, and so all of a sudden I got that. Now I barely moved my mouse. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get it back there. So one of the things about this is it's, you know, you can have a free floating menu around here, but I don't particularly like that. It, one of the things it does, it does reduce the size of everything and allows you to have a larger design space to be working with. But I don't really like that personally. So the way you fix this is, Hover your mouse in this blue, light blue bar, very close to the question mark, but not on it. And simply just drag it over to the side. Now I have to point this out. I am literally moving the menu around with a gray box, but you are not seeing it move. You'll understand when you do this yourself what I am looking at. I've tried multiple different ways to record this so you can see it. I'm sorry, but I can't. <laughs> it's just not picking up. Anyway, let's keep going until you get a gray line going around like that and it is now ready to pin itself back to the side and you just let the mouse go and there you go this also works for the other toolbar the toolpath they got the gray bar up here or the lighter blue whatever and you pull that out and it comes like that and you restore it the same way by dragging it back in there until you get that big gray line all the way around it and you're set up that was the quick tip I wanted to show you, along with sharing my health, wealth, love, and home words. Remember, that's what life is about. And I hope this tip has helped you out. Give me a thumbs up if you felt like it was just one of those little goofy little things that at least helped you explain something. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Have yourself a great day and better tomorrow.